What is the absolute worst way to die? Drifting in the middle of the ocean with no chance of rescue. Then don't watch open water. 2003. Overall a bit slow, but I think it's a good movie. Haven't seen the sequel though. You're joking. Right? Open water might be the worst movie I've ever seen. Including times I've gone out of my way to watch horrible movies. We used to meme about how bad this movie was. And the only thing worse was the sequel, which was the same thing, but without the sex scene at the beginning. Occasionally I see news stories about people, often cavers, crawling into very tight spaces and being unable to get out and dying. I have an absolute terror of very tight confinement and am extremely claustrophobic. I'm having to look away from my computer just writing this. If I even think about the possibility of dying, that way I have to get up and pace around the room. Being broken on the wheel. I think it might even be worse than burning at the stake because of how long it takes. Basically they tied you to a wagon wheel and then smashed all your limbs with ledger hammer and then threaded the mangle rack through the spokes like some bloody moaning octopus and hung the wheel up in the public square until you died. Which apparently could take days. This is also where the term coup de grace, lit, blow of mercy, comes from. If you were a noble, or could pay off the executioner, they'd whack you over the head with the hammer first, so you died immediately, and didn't feel the rest of it. That's some useful info. Coup de grace is very commonly used around RPGs. Never thought it would have such a dark meaning. Being chained down in a vat of acid that's only just barely strong enough to disintegrate you at an incredibly slow rate. I think being buried alive, running out of air, and trying to escape, only to drown in dirt is the one that scares me the most. Lava. For one. You don't sink. Since it's molten rock, it's more dense than your body. You'd hit the lava, submerge for a second, then pop back up. Meanwhile, your skin would start boiling off, and since your body is 80% water, you'd skid across the top of the lava like a droplet of water, your skin still burning, until eventually you explode in a fantastical flash of guts and blood. Having your skin coated in honey, and being thrown into a pit of bullet ants. Probably something to be said for the brazen bull, a method of execution so terribly that according to legend the king that commissioned it thought it was so terrible that he had the engineer who came up with it killed via the mechanism he made, because surely he was awful for having come up with it. Basically it's a big metal tube you put a person in and then put it over a fire, so they roast to death. Strap down. Rat in a bucket on your stomach, and then hot coals placed atop the bucket, to ensure the rat borrows away from the heat. What a horrible way to die. Starvation. It's actually relatively difficult to starve to death, and is in no way a quick end. When faced with starvation, the body will burn through its fat stores for energy. Once that runs out, it will go for the muscle but, eventually, it's going to run out of options. The extreme lack of vitamins and minerals will likely lead to a severely weakened immune system. It might be this, as opposed to exclusively starvation, that eventually finishes you off as you would have little defense against all kinds of diseases. Drowned in gravy. I would love that. Username checks out. Read about John Jones in Nutty Putty Cave. Horrible way to go out. Duck you. I just forgot him. Now I have to think about his horrible death again. Being impaled slowly on a hot metal poker. Starting up the rectum. My dad knew a guy whose sister was sold some ducked up drugs and died from a nod. He tracked the dealer down and raped them to death with a baseball bat akin to Lucille in TWD. Has doing life in prison. Oh. Falling down a staircase at, and getting paralyzed at your house, while everyone there is away for the month. Way too specific. Any kind of prime disease, or rabies. My dad recently passed from Crutes for Jacob. I'd say in his case it wasn't so terrible for him. He simply wouldn't notice how he slowly just went away. Also it isn't painful at all. It's hard on the family though. Imagine Alzheimer's disease, but the whole thing goes down in something like 3 months. 
One day he seemed to be doing okay next day he didn't know who we were. Couldn't form a coherent sentence and didn't know how to use a spoon. Rabies seems painful and miserable. Totally agree. Yay. I would disagree. Grandma's brain is oatmeal for over 8 years from Alzheimer's. I love my grandma, but it would have been nicer for her to go in 3. Now she's 90 has super oatmeal brain. Can't talk and has covered. Trapped in a sinking boat at night. That is terrible. Being flayed sounds pretty dismal. They cut your skin away from the circumference of the hips. Peel it up over your torso. And then tie the skin off over your head. So you end up suffocating in a bag of your own skin. But while you hang there suffocating they throw salt and acid at the now exposed raw flesh of your body the entire time. Being stabbed repeatedly by a butter knife. Pool drain. Bruh. Painfulness wise. Getting burned alive. Now, being burned just enough that you die a week or two later. All the while being in 11 tenths pain. I would jump out a window. I say this because people actually try to win burn bad enough. Suffocating under a drunk and unconscious Ian McShane. Things in my top 10. Chopped up by woodchipper feet first. Killed by crocodile slash alligator. Sucked out of an airplane. And fall to your death. Mauled by lion slash bear slash tiger slash any big predator who will surely kill you for predatorial purposes. Swarmed by rats or ants. And eaten alive. I would say the Jewish being fed salt water until they die of dehydration and WW2 was pretty bad. Buy a plastic spork. Scafism. If you don't know what it is. Consider yourself lucky. Suffering from cancer. I'm sorry. Getting stretched to death. You feel all the pain as your body is just ripping apart. Floating in deep space. Millions of light years away from Earth not the most painful, but definitely the most terrifying. With or without a spasa suit, with, you would last maybe 7 to 8 hours before running out of oxygen. Passing out and dying. Without, the vacuum of space would suck your innards out. Vomit. Pee. Poop first. Then your throat and intestines. Then everything else. You would stay conscious for 15 to 20 seconds of that. Probably very painful. And that's why I don't want to go to space. The way the guy who died in Nutty Putty Cave. That way. I feel awful just writing this, but after hearing the story I can't get it out of my head. I have a friend whose grandmother died BC the water heater was set to extremely high temperatures, and when she tried to get out of the shower quickly, she fell in cold and get up. Her body clogged the drain and she went into shock laying in scalding hot water. When they pulled her out her flesh was coming off of her legs. One of the worst parts is. Her son, my friend's dad, had just dropped her off and went back into her house BC he forgot his wallet. He heard she was in the shower. So he just slipped back out of the house to not startle her. Her family ended up suing the landlord or the company. Can't remember TBH. But they ended up receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars BC they came to the conclusion that no one's water heater should ever be set that high for any reason. I this recurring fear since I was little. Imagine a long tube that's slightly inclined and closed on one end. It's just wide enough for you to fit. You are put here first into the tube. Your head is slightly below your feet. You cannot move and it's completely pitch black. The tube is slowly filling up with water. I think the fact that you drown in the end is actually a plus or you'd just be stuck there until you die of malnutrition, dehydration, or whatever. Drowning is definitely making it worse in my mind. There are lots of particularly nasty diseases out there, but one of the worst I have seen is Al's, Lao Jerig's disease. You are completely lucid, completely cognitively intact, but you slowly lose control of all of your muscles. You lose the ability to move your mouth for speech or swallowing. You cannot swallow your saliva. It either falls out of your mouth or down your throat. The only part of your body that you can control is your eyes. If you're lucky, 
Someone will bring you a large alphabet board and you can look at each letter and spell out words. Some people are lucky and get a fancy eye gaze communication board, but they are somewhat difficult to program and have a learning curve. Your helper has to know how to set it up so that your eyes can be tracked. Eventually, you die because you lose the ability to make your diaphragm work, so you just cannot breathe, but you are conscious the whole time. Any slow and painful death, like being slowly eaten alive must be terrible. Unremembered. That's what the damnatio memori is for. Latin for condemnation of memory. The Romans were cold as duck. I read somewhere that, if you fall into an ice crevice, your body heat slowly melts the ice. You keep slowly slipping deeper in, until you can't move, and either freeze to death or suffocate. Pretty much any form of suffocating where you know you're about to die for anywhere from minutes to hours, and there's nothing you can do about it. I remember reading of a Roman emperor who would tie two naked people together one sitting on the other's lap, arms and legs entwined. One would then be killed. The other unlucky bastard would then be rotted upon, stenched upon, and crawled upon by all manner of insects and other consumers of putrefying flesh. I don't know if it's the absolute worst, but I was surprised at how uncomfortable I became watching Kill Bill, where the bride was buried alive in a plywood coffin. I got sweaty and nauseous. Can't watch that scene ever again. The thought of being physically confined like that. Hopeless for rescue. Waiting for asphyxiation. I suppose. Or maybe dehydration would get you, if you lasted long enough. I can only imagine where my mind would wander off to after coming to terms with the fact that this was the end for me. Getting your balls slowly crushed, and then each one of your bones. Much less effective for the females I guess. Blowing up by eating cake Jumanji style. Slowly, painfully, and expensively. Wait what was that last one? Getting stuck upside down in a tight hole in a cave that makes it impossible to move your limbs or remove you without breaking bones and suffocate as your organs crush your lungs and blood rushes to your head. If you don't commit suicide by suffocating yourself you can last 20 plus hours in that hole till death. The autocorrect on the till. Mayo. With intestinal problems. People on here are talking about legit ways to die, and I'm over here with, stroke by masturbating. Burned alive. Or drowned. IDK. I drowned when I was younger, and was brought back. Let me say it wasn't that bad. I'm much more terrified of fire. What was it like? Choking on cake on your cake day. Reddit moment. Very slowly due to poisons. No healthcare, and malnutrition due to being economically poor. Peeling you alive. S-L-O-W-L-Y. You are lying in your deathbed. Surrounded by the ghosts of all the people you could have been. And all the dreams you didn't bring into reality. Their eyes burning into you with furious anger as they shout I are were meant to bring us to life. You were meant to make us real. But you ignored us. You closed your eyes and your ears, and you slept through your greatness. Your purpose was always there, and you squandered it, or thousand thousand lifetimes, to bring you into being. To give us the chance to be born. But now, now you die. And we, we die with you. Chilling words from, ironically, a motivational speech. In my opinion, the worst way to die would be from depression. Depression is the most preferable method in this whole thread. God damn I'm learning a lot today. Running out of oxygen. Alone. Definitely alone. It's scary doing things by yourself anyway, let alone dying. It's one of my worst fears. Married to a woman who is angry you didn't get grass cut before your cancer got too far along. Too weak to get away. You spend your last in agony wondering what might have been if that stripper from Wisconsin hadn't quit due to cover just days before you got the nerve to ask her to run off to keys with you. Radiation poisoning. It's a slow process that could take weeks to kill you. Start off by losing your skin. Then one by one your organs fail. Then you just bleed to death. 
I'd rather a shotgun to the skull, to be honest. Boiled in water. Try oil for crispier skin. Slow burning covered with honey surrounded by heaves. Spaghettification by getting too close to a black hole. By the breath of this one kid I met. The medieval torture, where they would hang you upside down with rope on each leg. So you are in an upside down split and they would saw from your crotch down slowly, and since you were upside down the blood would stay in your head, so you would stay conscious for most of it. You get an upvote cause I see blue cheese. Finally someone notices thank why oh you 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 you. EWW that ain't blue cheese that's blue pie. Blue pie is disgusting. Get out of here opus. Getting tied outside covered in honey, while also ingesting it, so bugs slowly eat you out from the inside. Having a metal bowl with small holes in it placed upside down on your chest with a rat inside of it can you set fire to a lighter, is that getting away from the fire it will dig through your chest to escape. Capsizing at sea. Happens every year here. A very little few manage to swim ashore maybe one out of every ten, but most are never seen again. The tides and waves are very strong here. Recently there's been quite a few great white sharks in the water surrounding our island as well. The stories those few that make it back to shore tell are the stuff of nightmares. Bows tossed by cold waves so high you could be close to shore and never see it or anyone see you. Bamboo torture strapped down over some bamboo and it grows through your body bamboo grows fast enough, relatively, and is sturdy enough that you could only lie there as it gradually skewered your body. Something around 4 feet a day, if anyone was curious. Being immortal beyond the fall of humanity left to roam the empty earth for eons before the sun expands and engulfs you, and there's nothing but white light, and then emptiness for so long you forget what human language emotions and experiences were even like. Have your head squished like a watermelon by a very strong dude seconds after you thought you had him at your mercy, and you almost got him to confess that he raped your sister. Getting molten metal poured down your throat. Would make a cool sculpture though. Kind of like what they do with fire and hills. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.